What's happening? Welcome to the Main Stand Podcast, everyone, in the first ever vlog format. We're 24 hours away from the U.S. Men's World Cup qualifier against Honduras in St. Paul at Allianz Field. We knew this one was coming for time. Bought tickets for this in, like, November. I mean, I've been just... Not November. They announced it in November. I don't know what I'm talking about. We got tickets for this just a couple... Uh, handful of weeks ago really had to enter a draw super excited to get tickets so this is the first chance i've ever got to see the u.s men's national team play and i am hella excited to see the likes of Kristen pulisic weston mckenney serginio dest all those dogs it is going to be a hell of a time uh coming off that two nil loss against canada we need this one i still think they'll qualify in the end for Qatar, but uh, this one's really important for not just the U.S. men, but Greg Berhalter's job security as well. So we're putting this in, in the vlog format, uh, in the words of troops. We're vlogging blood, and we're going to St. Paul, and we're going to freeze our asses off. Game time, it is going to be, I think they said 4 degrees, but it's going to feel like negative 10. Wind chill is just going to be insane. Has potential to be the coldest game any sport in America. Uh, the Wild and Blues just got like third place a couple weeks ago. The Winter Classic in the NHL. This one could be worse somehow. So I really don't know how we're going to do it. How cold it's going to be when we get there. We have plenty of layers. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to test out my outfit 24 hours beforehand. So let's ride. I got the base layers on. This is the Long John set Wrangler from Walmart. No shame. This is what we're going to start out with. We have a, a lot more layers to get into, so let's run this. We're ready. Outside in Eau Claire, Wisconsin right now, practicing for tomorrow. It's about 9 degrees right now in Eau Claire. Feels like negative 10, which is what it'll feel like tomorrow night around kickoff. Basically sweating bullets right now. En route, baby. See you later, Allianz. What's up, guys? Just got on the highway, going to the Allianz field in St. Paul. It's going to be a cold one. It's going to be like negative, feel like negative 13, probably around halftime probably colder as the game goes on a lot of blue check marks on twitter coming after vibes fc don't like to see that uh, vibes fc is going to prove them wrong though us are going to come out with a big three points uh we'll film some more when we get closer to the stadium yes sir the allianz We've landed at the game. Look at that. Look at that pitch. Found the seats. Got the drinks. We're here. Can't flip the camera. <laughs> No Pulisic, that's a pretty big uh, big drop, but we got Wea and Pepe up top. We'll see how it goes. The beer is freezing. Not good. Starting to fill up.
Henry the Gay for USA. Guys, that's it. I'm sorry for not getting more video. It was so cold. Uh, frostbite to expose skin in little as eight to 10 minutes. We really had to be safe out there. I got what I could. What a f game of football, lads. I mean, it does not get better than that. And I, that gives me hope in the US men to come back off a shitty f loss against Canada, to put in that three nil effort. We saw a lot of really good individual performances. I thought Weston McKenney was mwah, mwah, mwah. He was fantastic, man. You're and to nice. have a midfielder like that, to have a midfielder like that in the US team for years to come, that's promising. Pulisic coming off the bench, grabbing a goal. I mean, De La Torre put in a shift. Tim Weah deserved a goal. It, just fantastic performances across the board. And what did I f tell all of you? I told you I'd bring the vibes. And what did I bring? Vibes. We won three nothing. All those blue check marks on Twitter adding me, saying that we were gonna lose, drop points because we were playing in the cold. Three nil. Hunters didn't even have a shot on Matt Turner. That's what I'm about. Bringing vibes. Main stand podcast. Brought the vibes to Allianz Field. U.S. soccer should bring a million qualifiers back to Allianz Field because those fans were incredible. Shirts off in the Wonderwall. Flags, bouncing, songs. It was incredible. Uh, incredible 90 minutes. A wholesome performance from the team. Burhalter stays for now. We'll see. I think U.S. will qualify here pretty shortly. Fantastic experience. Fantastic performance from the boys. I, I can't wait to get my second cap as an official American outlaw. But we're here, we're leaving the Allianz in traffic in St. Paul. That's my parting message to you all. I love you. Subscribe, like, share the podcast and the vlog. We put a lot of hard work and hours into this and we'll see you next week.